Breaking news. NSAS massacre. Buhari to sack. Arrest Lai Mohammed immediately. Hello, my wonderful people. Lai Mohammed is going down. Uh, you don't understand it. This man is supposed to be a father, a grandfather. Yeah, I don't know if he's a great grandfather, but I know that his son is one of the um, politicians as well in Lagos State. Okay, that's his son. And I've also heard him spoken about his grandson who asked him once and said, Granddad, why is your name called Lie? And it, and he just made a joke of it. So what am I talking about? I'm sure of him being a father and a grandfather. Now, I want to believe that as a father and a grandfather, if anything happened to his son or his grandson, he will mourn. He will be unhappy. And it may even affect his going down. Yeah? At the end of the day, it might lead to other things happening to him. Yes? Yet, this man stands and lied to Nigerians and lied to everyone that nothing happened at Lekki. Listen, Nigerians, it is happening. It is happening. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Ensas Massacre. As reports unfold, Buhari told to sack, arrest Laye Mohammed immediately as more investigation commences. President Muhammad Buhari has been asked to sack the Minister of Information and Culture, Halaji Laye Mohammed, immediately. The call came following the report of the panel's investigation set up by the Lagos state government to unravel the incident of what happened on the 20th of October 2020 at the popular Lekki Toolgate, Lagos. The report released during the week has indicated Nigerian police, soldiers, and Nigerian army of all that they have done, indicting them of irregularities in office and killing of Nigerians. The Nigerian army having killed and massacred harmless youth, protesting illegal police activities and bad governance in Nigeria. But Lai Mohammed, in a series of press conferences, has continued to deny to anyone and everyone and to the world that no one was killed when soldiers invaded the protest scene. Despite the federal government's stand, the report shows obvious evidence that there was indeed a massacre at the Lekki Gate. Human rights... Association of Nigeria advocated his dismissal, arrest, and trial for his enormous falsehood and misleading and pretense that have gone on, which has been contracted by the Judiciary Panel of Investigation in Nigeria. Human rights made a demand in a media statement made against the backdrop of the incense of the conclusion of the Judiciary Panel and investigation of the Lagos State Judiciary Panel on the investigation of this matter. The 309-page reports detail how the Nigerian and police disregard their rule of engagement during the process. Rule, human rights recall that Muhammad Buhari also faulted the claim of the Amnesty International that no fewer than 12 persons were killed at the Lagos State by security operative during the NSAS. Human rights is asking President Muhammad Buhari, as a biological father to many well-educated children, to order the arrest and persecution of the Minister of Information, Halaj Elaye Muhammad, for the continuous lie and leading many young people to grieve on their early age and the heartless offense that have occurred and how he lied to all and continue to air cover up what has happened listen nigerians this we, we keep telling you that this will not go away in a hurry no not away it won't go away in a hurry it won't it won't go away in a hurry lai mohammed has lied to many nigerians and everybody that nothing ever happened Ah, it's just a figment of their imagination. Nothing happened. Ah, nobody, no life was lost. Blah, 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 blah. Today, he cannot lie any longer. Oh, yeah. You, you see, you see the thing with lies, yeah? You can only go as much as you are going on. Mm. 
you cannot go more than that. And you can't go more than that. You can't go more than that because it will catch up with you. That's the thing with lies. It will eventually catch up with you. You know, it was the same Lai Mohammed to whom the Kwara state governor has said he's a thief. That he stole from Kwara state. This man has not allowed the state to do well. He stole from the state. He did this. He did that. And a lot more of all his atrocities has come out, out in the open. Now we see what is going on. Lai Mohammed has to face the tune of the music he has set up. People were killed. People, people lost their children. And because their voices that are not loud, nobody could actually stand for them. Okay, nobody could actually come out and say this has happened. It was all conceived as if nothing has happened. Lai Mohammed as a father, I keep reiterating it again, and as a grandfather. Buhari, I remember when his son, nobody sent him on, rode a bike, had an accident. How the whole country's work for that day was abandoned. He ran to his son's side, of whom was quickly flown abroad to get the best of medical attention so that nothing happened to him. The same son married less than three months ago. And all things being equal, we give him grandchildren. But you deprive other people's parents of their sons and daughters giving them grandchildren. The crime was so much so hilarious that afterwards, the Nigerian army soldiers police, do you know what they did? Picked up the dead bodies. Only God knew where they buried them. Okay, picked up the dead bodies. Pick up all the share casing. That was the work they did overnight. When you see Nigerian army, you know I'm, I'm scared of men in uniform on a more serious note. I, I might be wrong, but this is just my phobia for them. That most of them, their hands are stained with blood. They do the wrong thing with confidence and they pretend that nothing has happened. Yet they do the very wrong thing with confidence. They do the wrong thing with confidence. So this is what is happening now. You saw what happened. You saw how people's children, for standing up to say what is going on in this nation is wrong and the government should take responsibility. And men in military, men of this has not done well and they should be looked at and they should be investigated. What did Nigerian government do? Who gave the order? We've still not gotten to that point. Leave us a comment. We will love to hear from you. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.